Are you considering relocating to the Raleigh area and you've heard of Durham and you're wondering, is it a good place for my family and I to live? Durham is gonna be located west of Raleigh and north of Chapel Hill. Now Durham is famously known as the city of medicine and also Bull City as we have a minor league baseball team here and as well as tastiest town in the South for all the great places to eat. And it's a great town if you love history and art. Today, we're gonna to be going over the pros and cons of living in Durham, North Carolina. If you wanna know more of that information, stay tuned, cause we're at it next. Welcome to the channel or welcome back. I'm Brandi Numervoot, a local real estate agent right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click the button below and tap that little bell and you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. Not only do I love making these videos to help you, I also love to help with your real estate needs. So if you're considering relocating to the Raleigh or surrounding areas, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. I would love to chat. Okay, we're just gonna jump right on in. And I'm gonna start with the first pro, which is gonna be location. Now, Durham is gonna be a popular city that makes up the triangle. Now, a lot of times people are like, what is the triangle? So basically, Durham is part of the connection between Durham, Raleigh, and Chapel Hill. So if you were to draw that out on a map, it's gonna make a triangle. And that's how it got its name. Now, commute times, if you live on the south side, Going into the Research Triangle Park, also known as the RTP, it's gonna take you roughly about 15 to 20 minutes. And then if you live on the north side, it's gonna take you approximately 25 to 30 minutes. And one of the great things about the location in Durham, if you wanna head up for a venture weekend trip to the beach, it's gonna be roughly about two hours. And if you wanna head up to say the majestic Blue Ridge Mountains, that's gonna take you about a three hour drive. And as far as highways, you can take 85, that's gonna take you to the 70 or Interstate 40 if you're living on the south side, you'll get places faster commuting on the 40 to get you into Raleigh. The next pro we're gonna talk about are the colleges. Now, if higher education is important to you, there's plenty of wonderful colleges to pick, not only in Durham, but also Raleigh. There's over 12 colleges here, including the prestigious Duke University, which also ranks top 10 best colleges in national universities. Now, when it comes to public schools, some would rate it as a con, while others would rate it as a pro. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, when we compare some other surrounding suburbs to the public elementary schools, options aren't quite as good. According to niche.com, it gives schools an overall rating in Durham a B minus. But in saying that, there are some really great schools here, including some high schools that have A plus ratings. And you also have your option of charter schools, there's magnet schools, and even private schools. The next pro is gonna be cost of living. Now, we personally relocated from Southern California and cost of living was a huge factor for us. Now you can actually go online and use a calculator. I used bestplaces.net and you type in where you currently live, the city that you're thinking of relocating to. You can even add in what your salary is or if you're getting a relocation on your job, your projected salary, and it'll calculate everything in each category and show you is it gonna be less expensive, more expensive, or the same? Now for us personally, cost of living, especially when it came to housing, was about 50% less. Now it's been about five and a half years since we personally moved here, but by selling our home in California, we were able to secure a bigger house here for about a fourth of the price and we actually even got three acres of land. Not only did we have extra income, we ended up deciding to buy a second home. So we actually have a beach house on top of this. And again, spending money for that first and second house still did not equate to what our house, if we were buying in California did. So when it comes to housing, definitely a huge factor. Now in saying that, although we were able to get a less expensive house, we noticed that our utilities were higher here. And for us personally, the reason why is we moved from being on city water 
and sewer to now having a heat source of a propane tank, which we had never experienced before. And we also have a septic and well. So just different cost factors than we were used to living in California. And while we live in this, we're more on the country side of things. If you're within the city, you're not gonna have to worry about, about having a propane tank or a septic. So just keep that in mind when you're looking for a, another home. I would say another factor to the utilities as well. In California, we basically had one to one and a half seasons. Here, we actually have all four seasons. So in the summer, it gets really, really hot. And in the winter, we have some pretty cold days. So between that, you know, it's gonna fluctuate with your utility bill. Now, when it comes to gasoline, that is a definite plus here in North Carolina. I wanna say on average, we're saving about a dollar to a dollar and a half per gallon on gas versus when we lived in California. And I Googled it the other day just to see is the comparison still relative? And that's about what the price difference is. And I know nowadays everything adds up. Now, when it comes to healthcare, depending the coverage that your employer helps you, it could be less expensive or more expensive here. For us personally, under my husband's insurance, it was actually quite a bit more than what we had paid in California, but we were also with Kaiser in California and they don't have them in North Carolina. But in saying that, they do have some phenomenal facilities here and doctors, again, it is known as the city of medicine. And that was definitely comforting to us, especially considering our daughter Lorena has a heart tumor. We wanted to make sure we were gonna get her in the best care here. And I can tell you hands down, I absolutely love her doctor and the hospitals, everybody that's been involved with her treatment, top notch. Now, as far as healthcare, you have Duke University, you have Wake Med, you have UNC. They have you know specific pediatric children's care. So you're definitely covered when it comes to medical. And one of the things that really surprised us was daycare. If you have children that are gonna need to go into daycare, definitely make sure that you're doing your homework, getting on wait lists ahead of time before you move or right when you get here. We thought it was gonna be a lot easier to get into a daycare program. And for us personally, that just was not the case. And talking to a lot of other moms as I've been here over the last five years, it sounds like it's a pain point for everybody. Not only was it more expensive than California, but there's a waiting list. So definitely check out those daycares. Now, when it comes to groceries, overall, it seemed like we were saving money but where we felt like we were paying more money than in California, for example, would be the fresh fruit and produce. So when it comes to produce, I feel like it's more expensive and it does not last as long. I used to be able to buy fruit, vegetables in California and they would last, you know, one, two, three weeks, depending. Here, I feel like within like 48 hours, things are going bad and I don't understand why. The only thing I can figure is maybe we had fresher produce where here, maybe they're having to truck it in and it's sitting on a truck longer. I don't know. And one of the things that I loved when we were in California, we used to be able to buy avocados super cheap. I mean, I'm talking four for a dollar, two for a dollar, but they were not very expensive. We were able to eat avocados every day. When I was pregnant with my daughter, I had an avocado and egg every morning for breakfast. Now, when we moved here, it's costing like, $5 for two avocados. And every now and then, especially during the holidays, we'll hit the jackpot and there'll be a whole bunch of smaller avocados and they'll be on sale for a dollar and we're just jumping for joy. We're like, give me all the avocados. So again, depending where you're relocating from, definitely check out that cost calculator and see how much money you would save if you moved over here to North Carolina. Personally, for our family, the cost savings made even more sense, or should I say dollars? And speaking of housing prices, that brings me to my next pro, which is housing. Now in mid 2023, the median price point for a home in Durham is approximately $435,000. And if we're just looking at single family residents, it's approximately $450,000. And townhome is roughly $383,500. Now there's a lot of beautiful neighborhoods in Durham. If you're looking for more land and space and you don't mind an older home, you may wanna consider the north side of Durham. And another pro to living on the north side of Durham is on average, 
The homes cost a lot less because they're a bit further away from the RTP, but it could save you up to $100,000 if you don't mind the extra commute time. And it's gonna take you roughly about 15 to 20 minutes to drive to the south side for all the amenities and entertainment. But again, if you don't mind that and you want some extra space, the land and lower cost of a home, then overall, it's definitely a pro to live on the north side. But if you're wanting to be closer to the restaurants, to entertainment and South Point Mall, you wanna have a closer commute, less time to the RTP, you want a newer home, you don't mind bumping up that bracket up to 100,000 more, and you're okay with having less yard, then you may wanna consider living on the south side of Durham. The next pro is gonna be the outdoor spaces. Durham has some wonderful outdoor spaces and parks. There's Eno River State Park, and this river actually runs through Durham and Orange County. You can kayak, you can walk on the trails, you can run, you can bike. I love for our kids to go down there with our dogs and everybody just splashes and has a great time in the river. There's also the historic district park. You can have a game of ball and then walk over across the street and get a drink at the Durham Distillery right across the street. And so many people enjoy walking the gardens at Duke University. Some people will even pack a blanket and a light little lunch and just sit there and look at the water, the ducks going around. It's absolutely gorgeous. Another pro is gonna be the amenities. Now there's definitely not a shortage of fun things to do in Durham. If you love shopping and dining out, there's some really great places, including South Point Mall. It's a nice outdoor shopping area with restaurants, and there's even lots of little strip malls. You have Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, and we also have a Costco, your typical grocery stores, and a lot of chain fast food. For entertainment, there's the D-Pack, which is the Durham Performing Arts Center. You can catch theater type performances. We saw La Miserable, we saw Frozen. Who else did we see? We saw Jersey Boys. If you wanna catch a baseball game, you can head on over to see the Durham Bulls. And there's even the American Tobacco Trail. You can get a bite to eat, and they even have a restaurant there that you can sit on the outdoor patio, grab a bite to eat, sit at the bar, have a drink, and it overlooks the actual stadium and you can watch the game from there. It's definitely a family, fun, friendly town. As a family, we love to go to the Eno River Park or the Museum of Life and Science. We also enjoy walking the Duke Gardens, watching the ducks swim. And then again, if you don't wanna stay in Durham and you wanna venture out, Chapel Hill and Raleigh are just right next door. So there's even a lot more fun things to do. The next pro is gonna be jobs. Now, Durham County is considered an economic development leader. It's one of the nation's prominent tech and research areas. And I know I've mentioned a couple of times in this video that it's known as the city of medicine and Raleigh and Durham both have a large number of research, education and health tech opportunities. And there's also biotech, professional jobs and definitely a wide range of job opportunities between all the universities and schools that we have here. And there's also big name companies here like IBM, Cisco, WakeMed Health and Hospital, SAS, and our latest attractor, Apple. Now the research triangle, also known as the RTP, is over 7,000 acre campus with over 300 companies. So aside from the big companies, the area's major universities are also a big part of employers and attract major talent, which shows in the area's lower unemployment rates compared to the national average. Now let's jump into some cons. The next one is gonna be a pro or a con. Number one biggest question that I get when it comes to Durham, is Durham safe? Now, if you look at a heat map on Neighborhood Scout, you'll see the safest to the most dangerous areas. Now, personally, coming from California, we lived in Long Beach, just right outside of Los Angeles, and we would personally go down there all the time for entertainment, anywhere from going to see a Lakers or a Clippers game, to going to see the Dodgers or the Anaheim Angels. We would go to Hollywood Bowl. So it definitely seems similar in the fact, you know, if you're going out for entertainment, restaurants, depending what time of day you go, where you're going, of course, there's gonna be some areas of the city that are safer than others. And of course, as an individual or a family, you definitely just wanna be mindful when you go out of your surroundings. And again, what type of day or how late is it at night when you're going somewhere? Now in saying that, we frequent Durham a lot. I have friends who live in Durham, clients that live in Durham, 
I even have friends that grew up in Durham. Now, personally, we've never felt unsafe. And again, if you're looking at the crime map, you're looking at the little heat colors, and you compare that to you know any of the major cities. Like for example, I just use Los Angeles because we lived right outside of Los Angeles. But you can also pull up others, you know, like Chicago, New York, Dallas. So basically all the big cities, it's similar in that fashion. So if you feel comfortable in those cities, you're gonna feel comfortable in Durham. And one thing that you wanna take into consideration as well is Durham is actually the fourth largest city when it comes to North Carolina population. So when you're looking at this, you gotta realize how many more people are living here versus a lot of the other surrounding little suburbs. And the next con is gonna be traffic. Now, I feel like in the last five and a half years since we've lived here, it's definitely gotten a lot more congested, but I guess that's to be expected when you consider all the people that have been relocating here and all the new construction, which is basically in every single suburb surrounding us. And we still have a lot of single lane country roads that just go one way. And depending what time of day it is, whether it's rush hour, picking up the kids from school, it can definitely start to get congested and backed up. But in comparison to like Los Angeles, it's definitely not bad at all. Here you're at least moving, you're going, where in California, a lot of times you're just sitting in the parking lot of the freeway. Now I will say one thing that really surprised me when I relocated here and surprises a lot of my clients who, reloc who relocate here is that we don't have great public transportation here within the Raleigh or surrounding areas. And it's really not walkable like a lot of other metro areas. The next con is gonna be the lack of nightlife. Now I would say out of the surrounding suburbs, Durham is actually gonna have more of a nightlife and Raleigh than any other suburb around. But if you're coming from areas, say like the LA or the Hollywood scene or Miami, New York, Manhattan, or even Vegas, we do not have the hopping nightlife, go dance, party and have fun. Not that kind of scene here. It's gonna be really quiet in comparison. I feel like these areas are more family oriented, which for me, that works for me and my family. But if you're on the younger side and you're looking for, you know, a nice vibrant nightlife, you're gonna be really hard pressed to find it here, unfortunately. Next up, we have weather. Now, depending if you're coming from the West Coast, you may consider it a con here. But if you already live on the East Coast, then you're gonna say it's not much different. I'm already used to it. Personally, for us, we love the fact that we were gonna get all four seasons being on the East Coast, but two things that really surprised us. One, when spring came, first time we walked out the door and saw this huge yellow film over everything, and I was like, what the heck is this? I did not realize how thick the pollen was out here. So you have about a three week window where it's just absolutely horrendous on your allergies. So definitely be prepared to take allergy medicine if you don't already. Um, but then when we transition into summer, it becomes so hot, it's ridiculous. But the good news is it lasts for about two to three months and it's over. I feel like my, my family and I really acclimated to the summers probably within two summers. So we used to get really, really tired being outside and trying to do anything active during the summer. But after a couple of summers, yeah, it's hot, but I feel like it's not that big of a deal to us anymore. And we just know how much time to spend outside versus coming in and cooling off with the air conditioning. So it's not bad. But all in all, love that it has four seasons, mild winters. You're gonna get snow, especially in Durham here. You're gonna have more chance to get snow than some of the other suburbs, but don't get too excited. It's not that much. It usually lasts 24 to 48 hours and it's gone. But I will tell you, if the weather even has a snowflake in the forecast, look out because when you go to the store, there's gonna be no bread and no milk. And then when the snow doesn't come or it lasts for one day, you're like, okay, people, enjoy your milk sandwiches because none of us got any milk or bread for weeks now. So I find that humorous. My clients that come, you know, from like New York, Jersey, Connecticut, they're like, what is wrong with people? Like it's a snowflake for goodness sake. So definitely humorous, but overall love 
our weather here and the fact that we get four seasons. The next con that I'm gonna talk about is the wildlife. Now again, depending where you're coming from, west coast, east coast, or somewhere in between, this could be a pro or a con for you. For me personally, it was a con because I was not used to driving and having a deer run in front of my car. So that is something you definitely want to look out for. And then we also have big bugs here. Bugs that I don't even know what they are, but they are so when it gets super hot, the bugs come out. Yes, we have flying cockroaches. Yes, we have snakes. We have copperheads are the biggest ones that um, I've been made aware of that we have to look out for. So in saying that, I know no matter what city you're coming from, there's something in each city. When I lived in California, um, growing up, I lived in the high desert. We had to worry about rattlesnakes and scorpions. Uh, we also had to worry about earthquakes. So here we have to worry about hurricanes, which now that I live here, not a big deal. Just like growing up earthquakes, I'm like, yeah, whatever, not a big deal. So again, you gotta pick and choose your poison depending what state you wanna move to. But if you hear about the rumors, they are true, but we get through it every single year and we're just fine. I hope you found this video helpful. As you can see, there's a lot of pros and cons to living in Durham, North Carolina. If you have any questions in regards to our area, whether you're considering relocating to Durham or any of our surrounding suburbs, we would love to help you. All you have to do is reach out to us, either give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. My number's right there. And don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe, tap that little bell, and you'll be notified every time we drop a video, which is each week. Until next time, I hope you all have a great one. See you later.